Hello everyone, welcome back to Hooking as a Lifestyle. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to crochet a granny square. And it's very basic, and all you need is some yarn and a hook to create this granny square. I'm going to be using Red Heart Super Saver and an eye hook to get the, 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 the size that I am going to be needing for a project I'm working on. And my granny square is going to measure 15 by 15 but you can make this granny square as small or as big as you like so here we go to begin your granny square you're going to start with a slip knot and you're going to chain up four one two three four and then you're going to slip stitch to that first chain made to form a circle. Slip the thread in there, and here is your the middle of your circle. And we're going to be putting our stitches inside that circle. We're going to chain up three while working that tail in. One, two, three, and we're going to put two double crochets in the circle. That's one, two, for a total of three double crochet. The chain three is our first double crochet here and throughout the pattern. So three double crochets in the circle and then we're going to chain up two, one, two, and then we're going to put three more double crochet in the circle. One, two, three, and we're going to repeat this two more times. So we chain up two, one, two, and three double crochets in the circle. One, two, and three. Chain two, one, two, and three double crochet in the circle. Okay, then we're going to chain up two And to finish this round, we're going to slip stitch to the first double crochet, which is the chain three. So we're going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three. Slip stitch right in there. And you have three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, to form a tiny square. So to continue, you can do either of these techniques. And the first would be to turn your work and then chain up three. And put two more double crochet into that first chain two space, just like so. Just like that and you have three double crochet in there. Or, let me undo this and turn it back around. If we don't want to turn our work like that and we want to keep just one right side and one wrong side, or if you don't care if there's a right or wrong side, that's when you will turn your work. But if you care about that, about having a right and wrong side, we would, um, Take our hook and insert it into that chain two space where we slip stitched and finish round one. So just go back in there and slip stitch. That way you can work inside this chain two space. And chain up three, one, two, three, and then insert and make another two double crochet in there. and then continue from there and that's how 
you will have a right side, which will be this side, or you will have the, and you will have the wrong side, which is this side. But for this video, I'm gonna be turning my work. But it's the same concept. It's just a matter of turning your granny around or or continuing on to slip stitch into that first chain two space. So here I'm going to turn my work. I'm going to chain up three. I'm going to put two double crochet in here. And this is my first corner. And I'm going to finish it once I come back around and finish it, finish my first corner. And then I'm going to continue here by chaining one and then putting three double crochet into the next corner. And then since this is a corner, we're going to chain up two, and we're going to put another three double crochet in there. And you will always chain one every time you're going to move on to the next space. So I chain one, and I am going to go do another corner with a chain, I mean with three double crochet. chain two and three double crochet. I'm going to chain one and then do the next corner by putting three double crochet. Chaining two and putting another three double crochet in there. We'll chain one, and here's where we will finish our first um, corner by putting another three double crochet into that same space where we started. That's three. So you can see I have three double crochet on this side and three double crochet on this side, and we're going to end it with chain two and slip stitching right into the top of that first um, double crochet made, which is the chain three. And there you have all your corners made. This is what your work should look like now. And we're going to continue on by turning our work. We're always going to turn after slip stitching. And we're going to chain up three. And then we're going to put an additional two double crochet in there. Okay, for a total of three double crochet in that first corner. We're going to chain one, and we're going to move on to this chain one space. And we're going to put three double crochet in there. Just three. One, two, three. Okay, we'll chain one and we're going to move on to the next corner and we're going to put three double crochet chain two and three double crochet okay we'll chain one and we're going to move on to the chain one space and put three double crochet in there. Chain one, move on to the next corner and put three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet into that corner.
I'm going to chain one, put three double crochet into that chain one space. Chain one, put three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet into this next chain two space. Corner will be made. Chain one, put three double crochet into this chain one space. And then we're going to finish it off with chain one and put our last three double crochet into this corner that we began with. So one, two, three. And then we'll do the chain two and we'll slip stitch to the top of the chain three which counts as the first double crochet. This is what you have so far. Now you can make your granny as big or as small as you wish. I am going to continue here by turning my work and chaining up three. One, two, three and putting two additional double crochet in there. Okay, chain one, adding two double crochet, I mean three double crochet into the next chain one space. And I'm going to continue to do this until I have the, the, the size I want. And I'll meet you back. You can stop at round five for a six by six granny square. You can stop at round 11 for a 12 by 12 granny square. I continue my granny square to, um, to 13 rounds and it measures 15 by 15. This is for something I'm working on. So stay tuned for the next video. I hope you liked this tutorial, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, leave your comments below. Like my Facebook page. Follow me on Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe to be notified of the next tutorial. Thanks, guys.